Members of the Somali diaspora in Sweden have been urged to support ongoing efforts by the Somali government and allied local militia fighting to remove Al-Shabaab from areas it controls in southern and central Somalia. Former Prime Minister of the Federal Government of Somalia, Hussein Roble, who met members of the diaspora in Sweden, said the Somali government has recorded success in operations targeting the group. Mr. Robles said unless all Somalis are liberated from the hands of the combatant, the country will continue to suffer, putting millions at risk. <laughs> Mr. Roble noted that the country is also grappling with other natural calamities that would have been otherwise responded to if the government controlled all areas in the country. He has called on Somalis to support the armed forces in all ways possible to end the war as soon as possible, uplift the lives of millions, and embark on a development trajectory for the nation. <laughs> The people in Al Shabaab controlled areas have nowhere to go. You cannot move freely since the group has cut all the supplies route. If you do not fight this group, save our lives, liberate ourselves, and foster a development plan. We will be under their control and there will be no future. The Somali National Armed Forces have conducted recently successful operations in Aburi, Yasoman, Bo'o and Senkado in Hiran and Galgadud regions, where members of the militant have been heavily defeated according to the Somali government. Former Prime Minister Hussein Roble, who served as Premier between 2020 and 2022, Reiterated gains have been made in the fight against the Somalia-based Al-Qaeda affiliate Islamist militant group Al-Shabaab following recent clashes in central Somalia between the Somali National Army supported by pro-government local clan militia and Al-Shabaab. The Premier noted that the operations were the largest security operations in five years against Al-Shabaab terror group by combined Somali and African Union troops. The Somali government has expressed its solidarity with the armed forces who have taken up arms to resist the Al-Qaeda ally in Africa. It has vowed to revamp the fight against Al-Shabaab until they are removed from all areas they now control.